Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trey Johnson. I'm going to show you how to install DigiCafe 2011 on your PC. I am using a Windows 8 professional build. Um, I just installed it, so I'm having a little difficulties understanding how to use it. So just bear with me. Um, a little quick update. Java has change how they do their installations they require signed jar files um, digi plus 2011 jar files aren't signed so you're gonna run into some installation problems so to not run into any installation problems we're gonna downgrade our Java to be able to do that all you gotta do is just go to Downloads, download a later version of Java 6.10 or 6 update 10 is what I use or what I used. So just install that. Once you do that, you want to go down to your uh, settings, go to control panel, go to your Java control panel. you want to go to your Java uh, tab go to view now I have three different versions of Java I have Java 7 Java 6 Java 8 we're going to enable our Java 6 we're going to click OK click apply click OK now we're done now let's install our web server to install uh, I'm using a basic web server which is Abyss. I'm pretty sure you all know how to install Abyss web server. If you don't, let me do it again for you. Um, it's not hard to install a web server, especially this one. This one's lightweight. Um, let's go ahead and uninstall. Click yes. Install. Yes. Let's go ahead and delete that shit. Ooh. Okay, now let's go ahead and install a web server. Our first number one on this tutorial, we're gonna install a web server basically. So it's, for this one, I'm gonna use Abyss. Go ahead and run it. I agree. Next, install. We're gonna wait. We're gonna do. Uh, manual startup. You can leave it as it was. Setup has completed. Start a BIS web server now. Absolutely. Now we wait. Whoops. What the fuck? Let's do that again. Sorry, my bad. Upgrade it. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes. Is this? Oh, there it goes. I was looking for that. Um, Pop-up's gonna say a, config a configuration file was created. Please oh, press OK to continue with the console access configuration. Which it's gonna do is you're gonna open up your web browser and you're gonna need to configure some settings. Click OK. It's gonna open up file. Choose your language. Uh, give the login. It can be anything you want. I'm just gonna put DigiLeaks, and then I'm just gonna give it a login real quick, and then we're gonna confirm it. And then um, click OK. Our web server is complete. It's installed. Don't worry about it. Close it out. Whoops, damn, I didn't want to open that shit. <sighs> Alright, get your DigiChat software, go to properties, go to compatibility. Yours may look like this, so we're just going to run it as Windows XP, Service Pack, whatever you want. Run as administrator, click apply, click OK, double click it, click yes, let it run. Let's go ahead and get our Digi 
keygen or digichat keygen out. Let's go to C drive program files. Whoops, my bad. Downloads. If you have a digichat keygen, get that out. Generate a code for you. Click next, 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 next. Install, I mean, sorry. This one, we're going to generate a license. I'm going to copy that information. Next, next. Oh, shit. My bad. Click next. Close out our keygen. Go to your web server route. Create a fold. Oh no, you don't have to. Click save. Click next. Done. Now, I'm going to show you something. C drive, go to your Abyss web server, htdocs. There's no folder right here. We're going to make one by running as administrator. Click yes. Should pop up. There it goes. Digichat just created a folder for you with all your digicrap in it. You like that? I said digicrap. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to our task manager. Uh, we're going to end the process. Now we're going to patch our chat. You don't need this right now because you won't be able to access it. Oops, since we're going to patch it. Get your Digi Plus or your Digi Cafe patch out if you have it. I have mine. You're going to run your shot.reg file. This registers the chat basically for the, the patch. Go ahead and go to Digi Cafe. Um, I want to make sure everything in here is legit. Make sure everything is, is my file. Okay. I'm going to copy all this crap that's inside Digicafe patch and then we're going to paste it to our our Digichat server so let's go ahead and make sure create a settings folder yep it did okay go to your server paste it all we're just going to wait until everything gets done pasting I'm going to pause it for you guys so don't take forever. Well, replace files. Do this. Actually, no, I ain't gonna pause it for you. Do this for all current items. Continue. Here, let me uh, get that out for you. Sorry, it's taking forever. Not my fault. <sighs> okay, it's successfully installed. Now let's go ahead and run run our start chat bat. It should install settings. <clears throat> oh, well, my bad. Go to um. Go to C drive, go to Abyss web server, go to HT docs, go to DigiChat, delete that folder. You don't need it. Let's, we're going to create one. So go to program files, go to DigiChat 4.0, start that. Ch oh, my bad. <laughs> go to C drive, go to Abyss web server, go to HT docs, and copy that shit. There you go. Copy that URL, URL or whatever the fuck it's called. Go to C drive, go to program files, go to your DigiChat uh, server, and run that chat again. There we go. It's going to display some output information. Um, just paste what you copied. Make sure your web root or whatever installs to your HT docs of your web server. Go ahead and install it. It's going to do a lot of shit right now. Install its components. Let's take a look what it's installing. 
Yeah, it's installing all that shit. Succeeded, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, a lot of errors in here. Okay, there we go. Everything succeeded, binded, and all that good shit. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our patch again. Program files, digi blah blah blah, download, digi patch. Go to our applets. Let's edit our applet, shall we? Um, you can put the port value right there. It really don't matter. Uh, just make sure everything's legit. Local holes, did you chat? You could put your real IP if you want. Uh, just make sure your ports are forwarded. Um, let's close out. Well, let's open this up. Check it out. See if we installed it. I have my Java console displaying uh, output information. Um, that's usually how I get people's. Uh, all right, we we'll want to run this because it's unsigned. All right, now here's the thing. Java is going to display an error showing that this is going to. You're going to get the same shit for uh, for Digi Plus. You're going to allow this application to run with the requested version of a 1.6. 0 10 so you can click continue you're going to do the same thing for all applets because if you run it with the latest version of your system right now it ain't going to load it ain't going to work matter of fact I'll show you alright the reason why I have these output boxes is because I like to steal people's stars and shit like if they have a really good start, as you can see, it didn't load. Can I initialize? Because the Java certificate, I guess, ain't working. Anyway, let's go ahead and log in. Make sure you do all the request signature and stuff. Boom. Should log in. Mm, yeah. As you can see, we're logged in as administrator. Let's go to Digicat Face Settings. Well, that's how you install Digicat. Enjoy. Or Digicafe, my bad.